Right everyone, next on the painting tutorials is going to be an M3 Lee from the American uh, Mid-War Bucks. Um, this one is uh, I've already done before, quite a simple model to paint. Uh, the trickiest part with this model that I find is the transfers, mainly the transfer that goes around the turret. So let's have a look at how they look after they've been primed. Uh, so this model's been primed with uh, Plastic Soldier Company uh, US spray. Normally use Sherman Drab, but I can't seem to find it anywhere at the moment, so I've compromised with uh, Plastic Soldier. Um, it is a little bit of a brighter green than the uh, Sherman Drab, which uh, isn't too much of a problem once it's all painted, but when you put it next to a Sherman Drab model, it, it is a little bit brighter, but I don't mind too much about that. Um, same again, I've put it on the uh, cork um, with PVA glue so I don't touch the model when I'm painting it. Um, the first step of this model, um, I try to get out of the way straight away, is going to be the tank tracks. And since I used it last time and I quite enjoyed using it, I'm going to try it again with the tank tracks. Uh, I'm going to be using the Citadel Contrast Black Templar using a mixture of uh, base coat and brush for the outer parts of the tracks and a highlighting brush for the inner parts. I'm also going to be painting the wheels and I'm going to paint in the ends of the barrels uh, black as well um, just to make it look like they've been firing and to make it look like they're just not a solid chunk of plastic and that will be the first step so um, we'll have a look now at what that looks like. Uh, I have uh, made a decision on the contrast uh, paints after doing these tank tracks and wheels. Um, I don't like it. Uh, I love it. Um, that's probably the quickest I've ever painted uh, tank tracks. Um, just because it's so thin, it was easy to paint on the little bits and in the wheels, and it just sat in there really nicely. Um, normally, with um, American and British tanks, on the outside I usually highlight it with uh, ash and grey because uh, the way this uh, paint has dried it's got quite a grey uh, tinge to it I'm uh, just going to skip that part so uh, I'm very happy with this at the moment um, so um, next step now I'm just going to be painting all the tool handles on the, the tank with uh, flat earth and that is a uh, Valheo paint and I'll be using a precise detail brush uh, for that one. Right, there's not many uh, tool handles on the M3 Lee, just the uh, shovel and the axe on the back. So next stage now, I'm going to be painting all the jerry cans or um, uh, oil drums that some of my M3 Lees have uh, with uh, Castell and Green and that is a Citadel base. Uh, for this I'll be using a highlighting brush or a precise detail brush depending on how big uh, the object you're painting is. Okay so we'll have a look at that. Right that's all the jerry cans done so next up now I'll be painting any uh, canvas areas on the model so basically um, I think you got that bundle of uh, canvas on this sprue I have that on one of the tanks and I have a few little bags I have from other models and for that I'm going to be using uh, a steel legion drab citadel base and depends on the size of the object uh, highlighting or um, precise detail brush should be fine. Uh, this stage is done, I only had the one uh, model with this on the back as you can see it, it looks nice and freshly painted um, so next step now, any um, boxes like ammo boxes, um, well, mainly wooden boxes, I'm going to be painting with um, XV88 Citadel base and again mixture of uh, precise detail and highlighting brushes for this step. So that's all the wooden boxes done, uh, next step now I'm going to be painting all the um, bags and uh, other bundles of um, uniform um, on the model with uh, khaki. 
that is a Vallejo paint. See here. Um, again, highlighting or precise detail brush should be fine for this step. Right, that's the bags and little bundles done. So now I'm going to be highlighting the metal parts on the tank tracks uh, using a highlighting brush and the Citadel Paint Iron Breaker. Right, so that's the metal part of the tank tracks done. So now I'm going to be using another uh, Vallejo uh, paint to go over all belts and fastenings on the model. So basically things tying in the bundles of canvas or any belts that are on them, satchels, etc. And for that I'll be using a uh, stone grey Vallejo and a uh, precise detail brush will be uh, good for this one. So that's all the belts done. Next up now, all the uh, metal parts on the model. Um, so basically tools, uh, caps on the jerry cans are going to be done with lead belcher. And I would use a precise detail brush uh, for this step. Maybe even a little finer, so a, um, a uh, super detail brush at a go through all my brushes then to try and find it. Okay, so we'll have a look after that's all done. Right, that's all the metal parts done. So next part now is just uh, go over everything, um, neaten everything up, so any overspill on the hell area. And I'll be using a uh, brown violet. Uh, Vallejo paint and that is pretty much the same as the base coat so just neaten up the model. So the model's all painted so now we're going to be applied in the shade which is going to be the Citadel Anthonian camo shade and I'll be using the Citadel shading brush. Um, so remember make sure that all the paint is dry otherwise it's going to smudge and wash over areas you don't want that paint to be. Um, so. Make sure everything's dry before you do this. And make sure on the um, tracks and uh, wheels, don't be afraid to apply a little extra just again to all the recesses. So here's the model all shaded and it is dry now. So next step is the transfers. With a warning with the transfers for the these, um, the um, ones for the turrets are a bit tricky because they're so long and they're in two parts. Um, when you um, put them in the water, the back bit will fall off and then it's a nightmare trying to fish them out of the, the water. So all I do is put in one at a time, wait for it to separate from the paper and then put it straight on. Um, it was a nightmare the first time I did it because usually I just put them all in, wait for them to separate uh, or loosen up and then I'll get them. But uh, I was having to fish them out for ages, so uh, just be careful. Uh, so that's all the transfers uh, on the tank now. Uh, last stage now before I uh, apply the uh, matte varnish is to add a few more markings using um, Citadel Irreal Yellow using uh, a the Psycho brush that Wargamer do. Uh, I'm doing this because I have 15 Lee tanks and I've numbered them E1 to 9 so far. Uh, I do have an E10 but the numbers on the transfers only go up to 9 so I'm just going to add a 1 in front of them and also as well because um, I have my tanks arranged in three different platoons uh, I add um, just some scratch marks uh, to the copula on the top so 1 for first platoon, 2 scratches for second, 3 for third platoon and I put a H for the HQ just so when they're on the table I can uh, keep track of what what's what platoon so uh, I don't miss any uh, last stand tests I wouldn't want to be doing that. So I'll put these little markings on and I'll show you. Right that's these five done, uh, transfers on and extra markings put on 
uh, as you can see the transfers do look a bit shiny on these tanks but that's because the uh, matte varnish hasn't been applied um, so before you uh, spray the matte varnish make sure the transfers are dry so hour or two because you don't want any moisture on this model when you spray that and um, I'll show you some photos when that's done but yeah not so much to paint on these tanks, they're probably the longest bit are going to be the tracks but that was made a lot easier this time by using the contrast paint um, so yeah so uh, I'll wait now uh, for these to dry So the M3Ds are finished now, as you can see the transfers have toned down quite nicely and the model, once it's finished, looks very nice. Um, really looking forward to using these, uh, probably with some Stuarts. So you can probably have a full company of these and a full company of Stuarts with their uh, mortars and T30 and recon for 109 points. Um, Obviously with the Lees you can upgrade them so they're slightly better but you can only have a unit to three and it is quite an expensive upgrade but uh, I have used um, Lees before as the Americans and I found them quite useful uh, you can check a unit of Shermans with them as well and I do use uh, Grants as the British which are quite good uh, apart from their last stand rating isn't uh, great but uh, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial there will be a few photos of uh, these models I've just painted at the back along with the whole company of Lees as well. So, till next time. Um, as for next time, I'll probably uh, be doing 10.5 centimeter artillery for the Germans, and that will be my next painting tutorial.